Well, hello. Um, it's been a while since I streamed last, and uh, I'm beginning to hear from my uh, very throaty voice. I've not been uh, very, very well, I suppose. I've been ill. Um, had a bit of a uh, corona. I really did try to avoid it. But um, alas, I managed to get it anyway. It's been 14 days of pretty much feeling very rough. But I've been staring at this game for a while and I really need to finish it. And um, that's what we're going to do today, hopefully. I went to work yesterday and coughed a lot. And I hope that I won't today. So let's try that out. But let's get started. Episode 5 of The Walking Dead, Season 1. This is the actual final of the game. Previously on The Walking Dead. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. Here, you can have some too. But we'll be in Savannah, and my parents were in Savannah. They always stay in the same place when they go there. The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? We gotta go! <laughs> yeah, why? Clementine? Clementine! Clementine's gone. Wherever she is, I have to find her. I don't even know if I can ask for your help. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What kind of friend would I be if I wasn't there for you now? Clementine. Vernon, get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. Clementine, are, are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! No, Lee. Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you... What do you want from me? Whatever it is, I'll do it. You can let her go. I want you to never hurt anybody again. This is the kidnapping league. Oh. Then what Where's is my it? mouse? Wasn't there any, uh... You better not fucking hurt her. I swear. Wasn't there marker? Post marker, I can't remember. I was cursor. Don't worry, pal. We'll get her back. How's that feeling? Not great. Hand is hot and it's thumping a little bit. You seem okay for now. Yeah, totally. We don't have much time. We're about to have a lot less. We'll all make sure nothing gets hit. You're still the smartest fucker out of all of us. We'll try to find another way out of here. Damn, Kenny, with the compliments. Nothing through here. 
was kind of hoping they dug some secret tunnels or something. Hey. We'll have time to chit chat later. Yeah. Got that. This is a good idea. Just some surgical supplies. Surgical supplies. Nothing in there. Oh, what's that? A rip spreader, oh god. Looks like a car jack. I don't want to imagine this being used on a body. Nothing else over here, right? They go. I should keep looking for my way out. Yeah, get to it. Uh, can't do anything with that door. Elevator. Hey. I think I found a way out. I can't get my hands in between the doors. Pirate spreader. I'll have these doors open in two seconds. Time left. Fuck. Is he alive? Shit. This is that. Fuck. Tell me more than this. Okay. This has to be done. Sorry, pal. I gotta do it. I'm awake. Stop. He's awake. He's still bitten. So? This is about trying to save him. At the very least, buy him some time. By chopping his arm off. Do we know it works? We don't know anything. We know there's gonna be a lot of blood. There's gonna be a shitload of blood. What if he dies? Then the rest of us go after Clementine and get the hell out of Savannah. Damn right. Let's do this. If there's a chance it stops you from turning, we have to take it. Let's, Let's do, it. do it. Maybe it'll work. It's a big risk. Yeah. We're down here without a lot of options. Um. Let's no. leave it. We leave it. Are you sure? Yeah. I feel like I got time. Just keep an eye on me. If I get my hands on the bastard who's got Clem, I'd be happy to have them both. But you're gonna die. Yeah, but not in here. You guys keep an eye on that door. I'll work on getting us out of here. Lee? No. This is what we're doing, and I don't want to hear anything else, okay? What's Just anything on this? Surgical supplies. No. Oh, there's probably a hint to what's work. What's about to happen? Stayed open. All right, up we go. We're gonna have to go as quiet as possible and see if we can make it to an empty floor or even the roof. Sounds good. Good. Gotta get my 
ass up this ladder. Te lo sabes. Just fucking peachy. It's raining, zombies. Ouch. The boat. Lee. Lee. Oh, God. Are you alive? Get up. Used to have stomach muscles. Good job. Hello. No help. Remember when Savannah was empty? Those Crawford bastards did one thing right, I guess. There must be thousands of them. They didn't follow us here, did they? It sure seems like it. That's crazy. They can't track. They just roam. Is it? That fucking train wasn't exactly discreet. Maybe we can wait for an opening. We could be waiting a long time. Still, Lee's right, and that we gotta pick our time and go. Anybody know how far and in what direction the mansion is? We probably ought to start there. It's between us and River Street, so we can stop if we have to. Retrace our steps, maybe. And they get going towards the hotel where Clem's parents were staying. Okay. Look, let's get our bearings and see if we can figure out a way to make it across town. Good? Good. I, uh, don't think we can ignore what just happened to Lee. <laughs> I was showing off. That's the bite. Just have to deal with it. You gotta let us know if you start feeling funny, you know? I know. It's just dizziness, that's all. I'm all good. As good as you can be. Yeah. Good as I can be. Now what? We get down and we find a little girl out there. Right, pal? Now, right, let's Kenny. get our bearings. Uh, just one second, I really need to uh, pull the curtains. The table down into a normal position. Hospital must have run out of doctors. <laughs> there we go. Are you? Look at the door. I must fuck out how to control this game. He or she walked away from whatever it's accident been a, happened. Uh, well, that doesn't really mean much. Doing a. Uh, Point and click text adventure. It's an well, not text player. adventure, just adventure game. Paint. Some poor bastard took a spill. 
Yeah, looks like whoever was up here painting that sign went ass over tea kettle. Ass over tea kettle. Whatever that means. Hello, Kenny. That looks like Crawford Square over there. Fuck that place. Did fix up our boat, though. We get Clementine and get right back. Make sure she wears a life jacket, okay? Something tells me she's not gonna want to. Oh, that was what that did. Want to have a look at the uh Here's a way down. Yeah, if half the dead population of Georgia wouldn't wander in the streets down there. That looks like Crawford Square over there. Anything else to look at? See anything? Nah, I'm just uh I was taking a minute, actually. Sorry, I, I know I shouldn't. What's going on? That's just everything. Fuck, man. You know. I do. I can't thank you enough for what you did for Duck. I don't know how I'd be if you hadn't. Don't dwell on it. I look at where we are right now. And I can't imagine Cat and Duck in all this mess. Can't. No, no, I'm sorry. We're in a fucking hurry to get off this roof. It's it's not the time. I'm sorry. I'm okay. There's a bell tower over there. We know what those do. Yeah. Could be part of how we get through the streets. Yeah. Any thoughts about anything else? Nah, I'm all right. Just needed to take a second. I'll keep an eye out over here. Sorry. How many you think are wandering around underneath us right now? In the hospital? Thousands. I mean, who knows? It was full of dead before, right? Yeah. That's what I was thinking. And out there? Look at that dust. Fuck, man. Who knows? Oh, the rice? That looks like Crawford oh. Square over there. Find out something new. That's the church across the street from the mansion. River Street should be just beyond that. We need to head back that way. We'll stop off at the mansion, like you said, and make sure we didn't overlook anything. Yeah. I might have a way to clear us a path. I can make it to that bell tower. I can draw the walkers down to that side of the hospital. There'll be thousands of them. That'll thin out the streets between here, the mansion, and River Street. Even if it's just for a few minutes. Anything over here? Honestly, my vision isn't great. I think it's allergies or all that shit those walkers are kicking up. I was thinking you and Omid wouldn't come with me. We look out for each other, but we sure as hell weren't gonna let you go alone. Not with that time bomb chewed into your wrist. You two have been solid since day one. What's this? Day three? Four? Well, <laughs> I appreciate it. Got any good ideas for getting through that, uh, herd? I'm working on it. Are you gonna be able to hang in there? I have to. The mansion's that way. Yeah. If we can use that bell tower to bring them to that side of the hospital, it won't be an easy trip back toward River Street, but it wouldn't be impossible. I'm with you. Just have to get over there. Allergies. Shit. People used to get those. I know, right? You never see anybody in an end-of-the-world story with hay fever. It's not the time to get wistful. I know. It's this deal with Clem. It's everything. It's put this rage inside me like I can't even say. I used to get allergies too and just... Fuck. Who was that guy? Someone with priorities? <laughs> Someone completely different. There's an invisible wall over here. Yep. What's up over here? Bell Tower. That's what's up. Hmm. Yeah. That could help. 
Hey. I think you're Clem's favorite, you know that? Really? Yeah, she's a big fan. You get away with shit I never would. We're getting her back, Lee. You know that, right? Yeah. When we get this fucker, we'll get out of sight and leave you with him. You get me? I get you. <laughs> How's the leg? It's doing a lot better. Thanks for going into Crawford for me. Even if it wasn't entirely for me. Clementine, too. She's tough as hell. Isn't she? Yeah. Don't worry more than you should about her, okay? I'll see if we can make it out to that bell tower. Okay. Be careful, though. I don't want you going any sooner than you have to. Thanks. Thanks. With the bell tower on this side of the hospital, and the mansion over there, uh, that might be our way off this rooftop. I can make it to that bell tower. I can draw the walkers down to that side of the hospital. I'll need thousands of them. That'll thin out the streets between here, the mansion, and River Street. Even if it's just for a few minutes. No Jump. way. It's oh. higher than this roof for starters. So how do I do it? I have the ladder. Probably use that. Is it long enough? Just barely. The bells. Yeah. Could buy us some time. Draw as many as we can this way. Get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust our asses getting back to the mansion. You think you should be the one to go? My leg's feeling better. Let me do it. If we have to decide who takes a risk like this, it should be the guy who's got the least to lose. What's the worst that could happen? I get bitten again? So we're agreed then. He's looking at the feet. It should be able to get me across the gap. I don't like anything about this. It'll take two seconds. We'll keep it secure on our end. Ripply wobbly. Hurry. Yeah, what she said. I don't like ladders. Yep. Oh shit. <laughs> Bonk. Oh, fuck. Holy shit, man! Are you okay? Yeah. I'm fine. Try to find another way out of there? Look at the hatch. It's locked. The exit in here's locked! A few solid rings of this and there'll be thousands down below. There's nothing else here. Just gotta pull and jump, I suppose. Way. Tons of them. Jesus. Now get back here. It's a bit of a leap. Like what, four meters? I think I have to jump. There's no way back. You can make it. It ain't that far. You got this. Got this motherfucker.
want this. I'm a motherfucker. Good goddamn leap, pal. Let's get the hell off this roof. Look at a mansion. Holy... What the fuck? Come on, just come the fuck on! Well, we're not coming back here after we find Clem. Who? Fuck. How could this happen? It's a guy on the radio, the one that's got Clem. They're gone. Holy shit, they're gone. Relax. Hey guys. No, it wasn't the guy on the radio. It was Vernon. Oh. No fucking way. Just a fifty. The invalids? Their actions uh, contradict your characterization, but yeah, the invalids. He's right. They're not invalids. They're just people. People who've been dealing with shitty situations even longer than we have. No wonder they got the jump on us. I don't give a fuck if their make-a-wish was a fucking boat ride. When I find them, I'm gonna rip their throats out. I can't believe they did this to us. It's sick. It really is. They use your goddamn sympathy for sick folks and then stab us right in the back. They didn't use shit. They did what anybody would have done. They've been living like ghosts forever and they were fed up. That's it. He says he feels bad about it. <laughs> Leaving us and Clementine behind. They fucked us! Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. This is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. I don't want to go back out there again. Then don't. Go your own way. You're every man for himself until you and your boyfriend actually need something. You wouldn't have had a boat to lose without us. So shove it, okay? Krista's right. Boat was a pipe dream. We still go after Clem, and then we get out of Savannah and rethink our entire plan. Rethink? How about we just think for once? That's what I'm saying we do. Calm down, Kenny. We can do this in the yard. What do you think, Lee? What do we do now, without a boat? Well, I know you two are just gonna look out for number one. And number two, you know, yourselves. It's not like that, man. Bullshit, it's not. Don't engage him, Omid. There's other shit at play, all right? What, you got the boat hidden somewhere? Get to the countryside. We dicked around with cities and coastlines and boats too long. Take her out there. And live as safe as you can, okay? Yeah. We gotta get out into some open spaces. You know that's what I'm for. This is bullshit. You might not even be around, so... With all due respect, Lee, his opinion doesn't carry a lot of weight. Hey, it's still his little girl out there. She's number one. That's the end of that, okay? But what about... I like that. Oh shit! Here they come! He's in the house! So that is his little girl. They shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Krista has good people. Maybe not. We can secure this place. Krista! Get upstairs. Make sure nobody's here. On it. Kenny. Look weapons. for weapons. Gather anything you can find. Will do. Omi. This. What is it? Front doors open. Front doors. Lee. Cut their fucking arms off! There's gotta be a knife or something in there! Hurry! Ooh, cleaver. Take their goddamn arms off! Now what? 
get ready to fight. This place seems dirty to me. I think we're fine. <laughs> Sturdy my ass! Get upstairs! Go! Oh, that's the uh, girl from earlier. Guys, help me with this! Hmm. That wasn't enough. Everyone get to the end of the hallway. This will slow them down. Get to the end of the hallway and take a fucking stand. Can't let ourselves get trapped. Let's get as many as we can. When we see an opening, we go for it. How many bullets y'all have? Three. Five. Four. I don't know where to aim. Get. There's one there. Oh no. Everyone okay? Lee's still bitten. Shut up. Okay. Let's get out of here and keep moving. Kid's right. We gotta keep moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Maybe. Well, we're not going out through this window. No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Dixon Kent the Third. Industrial need Krista. Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. I'm sorry. So, no ideas then. There's got to be another way. Check the floor for any other access, a vent, anything. Or we wait for the house to clear out and stick to the high ground. Whoa, Lee, you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna. that yeah I did what did that mean she's at the hotel where her parents were staying he hasn't moved her yet yeah yet we need to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our urgency what do you mean how do we get out of here that's the whole point we don't know okay now your life depends on it how do you get out of here I don't hello know. reptilia I don't get it. I do. Mm. Like I said, everyone needs to keep looking for a way out, damn it. We're trapped in here. How long you think we have? What? I I don't know. We should have cut it off. At least then there would have been a chance. Well, you didn't. And it's too late now. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. Hey. Look, we could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. He looks fine to me. Okay, what do you want to do? Just talk about it. Does that conversation end with me getting something dropped on my head? Now, hey! Guys, I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you. My arm is not the issue. I'm not the problem. The 500 walkers in the house and no door in this room are the goddamn problem. Yeah, maybe at the moment, but who's to say when it becomes an issue? 
At that point, there may not be any time left to deal with it. This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me. We will get Clementine back, with or without you. Because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. I'm sorry, okay? Fuck, we can't do this! We're gonna have to! Thank you, Reptilia. So long. 16 months. You ruined that dude's face. <laughs> Shut up, sweetie. Look. There's something behind there. It's corroded to hell. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30 foot drop? No. This mansion butts up against the one next door. I'll be dead. This wall ain't shit. Is this really possible? <laughs> this wall ain't shit. Yeah, we can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. I'm sorry. Me too. I get her. Go sit down. What are you up to, Rich Billy? What the hell are you? Actually, speak. Glad you told us when you got bitten. It would have been easy not to. Yeah. Well. We probably would have let you go alone if you hadn't told us, which would have been a mistake. If I were you, I would have been scared shitless. I was. The fucking thing. It happened so fast. You ever almost hit someone in a crosswalk? Almost? His license was suspended. <laughs> Twice. Just wham! Thing was on me. Never saw it. Like someone in your blind spot. Wish you would have taken it off. Don't think it matters much now. I'm losing a lot of feeling in it. Really? Yeah, it's hot, like when you break a bone. But tingly, like to sleep. So when we get this guy, what do you think? We just get Clementine, that's the focus. Despite how I feel, I, I, I can't let vengeance be the thing. Sure, but if it's not that easy... We'll do whatever it takes. And, you know, whatever happens to you, uh... Seriously, can we not talk like that? The entire time we were at the hospital, I could sense you think you're as good as dead. I'm bitten, Krista. We all know that's a wrap. There's gotta be something. I want you guys to take her. Stop it. I'm serious. She'd be safe and relatively happy with you two. We're not doing this. Relatively. Way. Krista, listen to him. It's what I want, okay? All right. I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure. If you don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? Nah, and you can hop in after me. Shouldn't be long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. I still can't believe you went and got chomped. Just fucking hell. At least he told us. Took some brass. I don't think I would've. How are you? I'm... Uh, I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. You've lost more than anyone. It'll be all right, kid. Why are you acting like what's happened ain't happened? Anyway, I appreciate it from both of you. A lot of us have lost families. This guy tell you much about what we've been through? Bits and pieces. Before y'all, we had this woman, Lily, with us. Lord knows where she is now. Anyway, we had to make some tough calls with her dad. She came between Lee and I pretty good. 
I spent a lot of nights hating this guy's guts. I'm sorry for hurting you in any way, Kenny. It's impossible to go through life without causing some sort of pain. And sometimes I can't help but wonder if I could have lost a little less. You and me both, Doc. Well, cheers. Doc. Some finality to this. Yeah, why not? I'm through. Was the thing breaks that earlier? No walkers. Things are looking up. Everyone, keep a goddamn eye out. What's with the lamp? Why are you looking at the lamp? Pretty sealed off. Well. Oh. Bit of a murder suicide. Smart. Look at all the people we've seen go. They got to do it their own way. Together. Don't you say that. You stick it out as long as you can. You do whatever you have to. I could have done more. There's no use dwelling on it. You know that. No, Lee. I could have been a better husband. Better father. Could have been a better friend. So let's figure out a way out of here. Get that little girl. We should move. Yeah. Got at least one shot left. Let's clear the room before we move on. Lee, figure out where we're headed. Uh. Lee, you okay? Yeah. Let's keep at it. It's just good people. Don't ask me how I'm doing. Let's just keep going. Look at this lamp earlier. Was there something about that? The streets are full. Hundreds of them. They're not going out this window. Yep. House is full too. Stay quiet. Look at this. I was just saying thing. I guess Crawford would have gotten them anyway. Judging by the decor of this room, I'd guess they were PBS watchers. Hey, my parents' <laughs> house looked a lot like this. And they watch kung fu movies. Just saying. Kung fu. Hard to believe the world once felt this peaceful. Sick, but think of all the pain they avoided. What do you call this thing? Arch? What's with the teeth? Might be the way out. We get over there on the roof. Nothing other than personal items in here. Looks like we can stay off the streets all the way to River Street if we're careful. Let's go. Jump. Yep. 
Have a round. Oh no. Let's keep going. Be careful up here. They haven't learned to climb yet, right? It's good to be moving. You're doing good. I'm not. But I'm trying, man. What happened? Honestly, you know how many nights Kat and I laid in that broke-down RV? And she'd give me hell for not thinking enough about the rest of you. All of them. Every damn night. Oh. You got that walkie-talkie? Yeah, of course I do. You might want to give him a call and tell him we're coming for him. Yeah, right. Careful cross here. What's, what's up with that? Be fine. River Street's just up ahead. Nope. Maw of darkness full of walkers? Fuck that shit. Let's get off of here now. Yep, that. Let's keep going, you bunch of lollygaggers. <laughs> I agree. And when we don't, and when we don't know where to begin to look, any clue, even the smallest one, is invaluable. We need that thing. Fuck. I'm sorry. Let's think this through. I just did. Oh no. Krista! Jesus fucking Christ! I got it. Get me up. Fuck. We can't reach. Find something fast. Would be good. Keep a fucking eye on her. Holy, is that enough? Grab onto this. We'll pull you up. Good. Thanks. Tense moments. <gasps> That's not gonna happen. Shit, they're in there. Fuck, jump up here, baby. Let's go, jump. <sighs> Ken? Okay, all that shit and not do something now. Come on, reach. I got gotcha, you, hun. Save her. Go, go, go. Do you fucking hear me? Get Kenny. Where'd he go? 
Maybe, maybe he ran. Maybe, maybe the man's all right. Maybe you'll find us. What if he doesn't? He went down there for you. I know he did. He... Game of tough choices. Marshall's hotel is around the corner of the block. Are you okay? Do you want to talk? Kenny was my friend. Soon as someone dies, they don't immediately have to have their sins forgiven. Well, it gets an hour moratorium, at least. I understand. This is a shitty time, but I want to make sure we're clear before we go forward. What is it? Now with Kenny, gone. Means Omid and I have to stay safe. For her. You guys would be great for her. Keep her safe. We do our best. You know that. Are you okay? I should be asking you that. You know what I'm talking about. It's nothing. Kenny didn't die for her. It's nothing. Let's just keep moving. We have to cross here. Well? At least it doesn't look like a death trap. <laughs> Who's going first? You're the lightest. He's got a busted leg. And you're walking for two. I'm obviously not doing so hot. Decision doesn't make itself. I'll go first, in case anything happens out there. You sure? Yeah. Just go nice and slow. Almost there. It's an easy crossing. Good. Going for it. Going for it? What does that mean? It means I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? Find me when you get down. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> it means what it sounds like. Hotels around the corner. Find Clementine and me as soon as you can. You're crazy! There's no other way. Damn, that's a lot of people. Zombies. What are you thinking? Medieval. Oh, 
Oh, wrong one. The other ones didn't have a uh, thing on them. The one that's nearby. Or closer by. Some don't seem to care. I've seen it before. Thing is in there. Can't do anything else. I don't recall any of this, I must admit. It's been too long, apparently. I got us adjoining rooms. Hello. Okay. This is Sybil. You look horrible. I could, Go I think. over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. Just be cool. Do I not seem cool? Good. Go sit down. Do you know who I am? No. I don't know anything about you. You wouldn't. People like you don't. Now you're thinking, who would have it out for me, huh? A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest, full of all sorts of food, water, things you need to survive. Yeah, I'm not some cannibal, Lee. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I coach Little League. I didn't take from you. Your people didn't? I didn't agree with it. That's what Clementine said. Why didn't you? It wasn't right. It wasn't our stuff. That's real good of you. Look, what do you want me to say? I don't want you to say anything. 
I want you to know what happened. Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Yes, of course. Who? A boy named Ben was with us. I liked him. He was a good kid. I hurt her so bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, you are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. And then we came back, and all our stuff was gone. Your people, V. That asshole in the ball cap. His stupid fucking wife. I could have earned her trust back if they hadn't made our situation so desperate. Sorry. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? No. I'm not like you. You walked a little girl into a dairy full of sick people and let them get their hands on her. It's more complicated than that. You let a boy get yanked out of a window and into the night so you could protect a pretty girl with a gun. You brought her to the most dangerous place in this city where she could have died. I couldn't leave her at the house alone. She would have been better off! How could you know all this? You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. Just give me Clementine back. I'd rather kill her myself. Because that's what will happen if she goes with you. After I found Clementine on my radio, I wasn't even mad at you. I was coming for the others. For revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did, and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lee, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. What? I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. Look, I was bitten. You were what? Yeah. I probably don't have a whole lot of time. Wow. Okay, then. Sorry again for your family. Me too. I'm glad this didn't have to get violent. Hey, honey. I think this is all gonna work out. What are you... I'm glad too. I 
wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but it's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. That's another choice. Just take Kevin Tyne and leave, god damn it. Son of a bitch! Just go away! Die! Whoop. God damn, Clementine. Smell good. Yeah, I know. Did he hurt you? No. Not really. I'm sorry, Lee. Cleo, it's okay. We need to get you somewhere safe. And then we have to talk, okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. It's my fault. Everything is dangerous. Like you said. It's okay. You learn. Stranger. Which way out? Through there. Still alive. Jesus. Don't look in there. No, I know. Leads to the other room. There's nothing in there. Can we go? Yeah, of course. <sighs> Should have checked the room, shouldn't I? Oh, hello. Zombie camouflage. They smell horrible, which means you have to, too. Yuck. <laughs> okay. Yuck. Oh no. Just 
scoop. Oh no. Oh, Clementine. So I thought it was gone. I thought you were gone. Thank you. Stay right next to me. Walk very slowly. Don't look around. And don't panic. Mm -hmm. I'll keep you safe. What's this for a sneaky mission? Some nasty music as well. On oh, Silent Hill. Disc. We're just close to high fiving. Okay, we're 
just have to think and work together. Okay. That's a zombie in there. I think there might be a way out over there. He's having a good, good girl. Let's go. Having a good time. That might be a little slow. I'll help you. I got you. You can lean on me if you have to. I'm okay. I'm okay. I thought I was helping by bringing you in here. You couldn't have known. I should have told you. It was scary at the hotel. Yeah. Keep going. We're almost there. Get up, Lee. The door is right here. <sighs> I can't. You have to. Ma'am, I can't move. This is it for me here. Please, please try to get up. Come on, Didn't do it. Nope. I can't. You don't have much time. You've got to do something. Fast. Like what? You're going to have to make sure I don't turn. You won't, though. Then I will. You know what you have to do. No, I can't. There's no way. There's a baseball bat under the counter, Clem. You can use that. There's a chair over there. The way out's through there, Clem. I know. Baseball bat. A bat to shatter that window, so you can reach in, okay? Okay. Watch out for broken glass. Good job. Don't be afraid of him, honey. You're smart. He isn't. You're smarter than all of them. Grab the chair, Clem. Use it to reach in to the lock. Put the handcuffs on me. Attach me to this. What? Why? No matter what happens, you're safe then. Uh, I don't know. Just do it, sweetie. Make sure they're tight. I don't... I don't want to do this. You have to. It'll keep you safe. Only a 
have to deal with him. He's trapped over there. If you're not careful, you can get what you need from him. The keys. And then the gun. Yeah. Keys and the gun. Just don't be afraid. If anything gets dangerous, you're faster than he is. What should I get first? Um... Get the gun, Tim. Always the gun. Oh no, I got bumped instead. <laughs> oh yeah. You're strong, Clint. You... You can do anything. But I'm little. Doesn't mean nothing. You go see bad stuff, but... It's okay. My parents... It's so horrible. I, I can't imagine, sweet pea. And now... You... Please... Please don't be one of them. Please don't become a walker. There's only one thing you can do. You know that. I don't know if I can. You have to shoot me, honey. We... no. It's okay. It's okay. Clem, I was standing over Doug holding that gun. It was so hard. I'm sorry you're in that position now. I'd give anything for you not to be. You just have to point it at me. Close your eyes and be thankful you never have to see me as one of them. You can do it. I know you can. Okay, Lee. I can do it. I... I can. I don't mean it, Krista. They're probably looking for us right now. Stay on high ground. Don't go too far. You'll find them. Take good care of you. <laughs> and Clem. <laughs> Keep that hair short. I will. I'll cut it myself. Great. Good. And also. What is it? No, don't worry. All right. You'll be okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
It seemed like a bug that the mutant stopped playing. It's just all beyond now. This is the end of the season one, yeah. Um, a little known trivia is that uh, Lee's voice breaking was actually the voice actor breaking when he had to tell uh, uh, Clementine he's uh, to kill him. Alright, let's see. Remove Lee's arm. I didn't do that and I kind of regret it. Not sure what it did. I didn't lose my temper with Kenny. Uh, surrender all weapons. Other than that, we were in the uh, above the average. Only sixty-three percent of players made sure Lee didn't turn. That's kind of uh, interesting. You then offended his son in the drugstore. You talked him down from ignoring his son's fate. You killed his son so he didn't have to. He was lost to the herd trying to save Krista. Uh, what was her name? Cat. He attempts to give her food at the motor inn. He found water of a duck when he needed it. She shut herself when faced with her son's death. Um, what the hell is his name? Bill Guy. You trusted him with your ex despite his vendetta. Tried to revive him with CPR, but Larry died. Larry, that's his name. Larry died in the meat locker in the dairy. Lily. You backed up when supplies went missing. You chose to reveal your past to her. Then Lily stole the RV and was never seen again. And Omid, you helped him get into the train. You were separate after you crossed the sign. Got a lot more. So many more. Ben, you stood up for Ben Crawford. You dropped Ben from the bell tower. And I still regret that because he kept asking for it. But I wasn't really sure if there was anything else to do. And then there's a... Uh, What's her name? I can't remember. The reporter. Trust her when he passed. You saved her life at the cost of another. She was killed by Lily, and I defended her against Lily's accusation. Shit. Kind of a switch that was around. Uh, Clara. What's her name? What's her name, Clara? I forget names so easily. Met on your worst day thus far. You reeled your bite to her. After getting separated, you told them to find you. He asked her and Omid to take care of Clementine. And then there was uh, the other guy who <laughs> were with him when he found your brother. He died when Walker's attacked the truck, truck store. And this poor little duck he helped save his life at Churchill's farm. You argued that he was not bitten back in Macon. You shot him before he could turn. Let him be your sidekick to solve mysteries. That's the important bit. The end for Lee, but Clementine will return. As far as I know. So we'll find a mountain path on down the hill. Meet me where the snow melt flows. It is there, my dear, where we'll begin again. Skip and stones Braiding hair Last year's antlers Mark the trail Take us back, oh, take us back
Mr. That was her name. A sad, sad game. Oh, and me. And they, they, big thanks to dinner. There she is, Clementine. She did not find Krista no mead. He said no zombies about. Ill casings. That could be Chris and Omid. That was the final chapter of season one of The Walking Dead. I will be right back with the uh, next one, which is a uh, bridge between season one and two called 400 Days. <laughs>